welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make the best pot pie ever. I'm going to walk you through step by step how to make your pie filling, your pie crust. We're going to put it together. It's going to be really good. It's going to be really delicious. I'm going to make my pie using leftover turkey. Okay, I know some of y'all do not like turkey. I learned that about y'all from my community post. So if you don't like turkey, you can use chicken. Okay, so you ain't got to worry about it. Okay, so these are the vegetables that you're going to need. You want to make sure that you prep and dice everything up. Here we have onion, celery, carrots, and garlic. Okay, and I'm also going to use some potatoes, which are not shown right now. Okay, so you're going to need flour, butter, garlic powder, onion powder, chicken bouillon powder, parsley, dried rosemary, dried thyme. Okay. All of these ingredients will be written out for you down below in the description box, okay? So I'm going to get the best pie crust recipe for you. I'm going to borrow this from my husband's channel, okay? He has a really good pie crust recipe, and I'm going to show you guys how to make it, okay? You're going to need two cups or... 240 grams of flour so if you want to measure that out that's the weight of the flour 240 okay to this you're going to add a half teaspoon of salt mix it well okay make a well in the center of the flour then you're going to add two-third cups of canola oil four tablespoons of ice cold water Okay, add that in there as well. Then you're going to mix it all up. Okay, so you can mix this with the, um, the bottom or the top. We're going to say we're going to mix this with the top of a wooden spoon. Okay, so if you have that wooden spoon, go ahead and use it. And you want to mix this until you no longer see any flour in the bowl, okay? Everything should be well combined together. Okay, so now let's begin to knead the dough, okay? So you just want to lightly flour your cutting board, drop your dough on top, and we're going to do a press fold motion with the dough okay this is very easy just do just like you see here okay you're going to press and fold your dough over press and fold it over press and fold it over do this for four minutes okay if your dough gets sticky just add a little more flour to your cutting board Okay, and so after four minutes, now we're going to wrap our dough in some saran wrap. And we're going to refrigerate this to keep it nice and cold. Okay, so this recipe will only be enough to make the dough for your bottom layer of your pie. Okay, so you'll have to double this recipe to get your top layer. Okay, so I made this recipe twice. Okay, so as you can see, I have more dough in this bowl here, which I made earlier. Okay. So now let's start working on our pie filling. I have my potatoes already uh, chopped up. I'm going to now just begin to cook these on the stove. I want these to get soft. So I'm just going to cook this on medium low. Okay. And while that is, you know, warming up and getting soft, I'm going to now begin to work on my other vegetables. Okay. So you want to add about two tablespoons of oil to your pot. You can use, um, olive oil, canola, or vegetable. We're gonna saute the onion, celery, and carrots until they are soft. This could take about five minutes. And make sure your stove is heated to medium high heat. Okay, so once your vegetables are soft, and now you can toss in your garlic and you wanna to continue to cook this for one minute and then you're gonna add your seasonings, okay? So that would be chicken bouillon powder, salt, pepper, onion, garlic powder, rosemary, thyme, and parsley, okay? Those are the seasonings that we've just added. So now you're gonna add some unsalted butter. And this clip here is mostly in real time, 
you know, after adding the seasonings, the amount of time from adding the seasonings to the butter is real time. OK, so that you know how long you should wait before adding your seasonings to butter to your flour all real time. <laughs> OK. So flour just went in. Now you want to just mix this up and you want to let this flour cook for about three minutes. OK, then you're going to add your chicken broth. So the measurements for the chicken broth is three cups. OK, measurements for the flour was one third cup and for the butter was one third cup. OK, so that's equal parts butter to flour. OK, so after adding in the three cups of chicken broth, now we're going to add one cup of heavy cream. OK, and your uh, temperature on your pot should be at medium. OK, so after adding in the heavy cream, just mix it all up together. We want to make sure everything is well combined. OK, and if your potatoes aren't doing much at this point here, you'd want to turn them up a little bit. My potatoes were just sitting still, not doing anything. So I ended up having to turn them up. OK, so I'm adding in a little more seasoning. I've added some parsley, some thyme and some black pepper. OK, so now I'm going to check on my potatoes. OK, I'm going to use a knife and I'm going to try to explain this the best way I can. I didn't want my potatoes to be fork tender. I wanted them to be knife tender, meaning if the fork just goes straight through your potatoes, like with ease, you've overcooked those potatoes at this point. As with the knife, if you stab them with the knife, you should feel just a, a tad bit of resistance in the center of the potato. And that was what I wanted. So I've added the potatoes, about a cup of frozen peas, then I'm going to add mm, about the same amount of care of corn. Sorry, I almost said carrots of corn. And if you don't want corn, if you don't want peas, you know, you just make yours however you want at this point here. OK, so I'm just going to gently mix these ingredients together. So now I have my turkey. So I'm using a breast and a thigh. OK, a combination of both. And I'm using some of the pan drippings as well. And I also left small amounts of the skin onto the meat for flavor. OK, and yeah, just scrape all of that in there. Now from here, you want to gently fold in your ingredients together. And remember, I said that you can use chicken if you don't want to use turkey. OK, chicken works very good with this recipe, too. OK, so from here, this is done. Now you can turn off your heat and cover your pot or you can just reduce your heat to low and leave it uncovered. OK, so go ahead and preheat your oven to 375. OK, so go to the fridge and go get your dough. We are going to roll it out. OK, so you will need a rolling pin for this. You can lightly flour your cutting board just like I just showed you. And drop that dough on top, sprinkle a little flour on top of your rolling pin. And now we're going to roll out the dough so that it's large enough to fit into our skillet. I'm using a 10 inch cast iron skillet. You can also use a 9 by 13 casserole dish if you know if that's what you have. OK, so just gently just press and roll out that dough. And once you've rolled the dough out like this, you're going to, again, lightly flour your rolling pin. OK, and we are going to roll the dough onto the rolling pin just like this. Now, if you have a dough scraper, make sure that you use it. This will be very helpful to get this done here. And yeah, just go ahead and just roll up the dough just like this. OK, now you're going to lay it on top of your skillet, rolling the rolling pin in the opposite direction. OK, just like this. And if your skillet is not in the best condition, 
you might want to just uh, spread a little butter on top of your skillet or use some nonstick cooking spray. Okay, so just press in that dough, make sure that it's, uh, you know, fit nice and snug into your skillet. You can use your dough scraper to cut away any um, extra long pieces of dough that might be hanging. And then you can take that dough and just patch up any tears that you might have in your crust. Okay, so now I'm just going to um, gently spoon in my pie filling just like this. So now we're going to get the other ball of dough, okay? And we're going to roll it out just like we did with the first. Roll it out, but you don't have to roll it out as large because this is going to be our top layer, okay? So the top layer does not have to be as large as the bottom layer, okay? Because it's just going to sit on top. And again, having a dough scraper is very useful because if you have any parts of the dough that wants to stick to the rolling pin, that dough scraper is going to help you to scrape that, and you know, help to prevent it from tearing even further. Like mine's did. Mine's, you know, was beginning to tear, but I was able to save it a little bit. And I was happy about that because I did not want to have to remake this. No, I was just like so exhausted at this point here. Okay, so now you want to pinch the, the dough top and bottom to seal it. Take your paring knife and you can just cut away, you know, some of this extra dough. So we're going to crimp the edges. Now I'm going to show you as best as I can how I did this. I wish I would have, um, you know, just been really paying attention to the fact that my camera was not really picking up how I was doing this. Like I had my hand all in the way, but I'll um kind of describe it so you want to um press your your thumb in between your index and your ring finger to crimp the dough okay so first i rolled the dough a little bit then i'm going to go back and i'm going to crimp the part that i rolled Okay, again, and I'm using my thumb in between my index and my ring and my middle finger to crimp the dough. Okay. So just give it a try. And, you know, if you kind of struggle at this part here, then don't worry about it. You know, you could take a fork and you could just pinch the edges of your pie crust by just using a fork. Okay, that'll be just fine. Trust me. So from here, just take a small paring knife and you want to um, cut um, three or four slits in your pie. This is going to uh, allow it to release some of that steam. So these are going to be your, your vent holes. OK, you're going to take one egg, stir it with the fork, and then you're going to take a basting brush and you want to baste that uh, egg onto the pie. OK, that's your egg wash. So now we're going to put the pie inside of our preheated 375 degree oven until the top of the crust is golden brown, just like this. Okay, so this pie was made about 20 minutes ago. I did let it sit for a while and this is what it looks like. I'm just going to cut into this so that you guys can get, you know, an up close uh, look at this pie. It came out perfect. It was perfect. Okay. Um, the bottom of the crust was nice and and thick. The top was flaky. Okay, it was really good. The flavor of this pot pie was really, really good. I hope that you guys will try this. This is a, a good uh, option. If you got any leftover turkey, this is a good way, you know, to really get rid of it and make a make a brand new meal just using that leftover turkey. But again, I know some of you don't like turkey, so you can make this with chicken and this was so easy. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a like if you did. And I hope to catch y'all in my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.